Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I have recently discovered a new love in my life and that is the dollar store. I will be honest with you, I always had kind of a prejudice against the dollar store. I always just kind of thought there was junk and crap there and nothing I would really even want. So I haven't even been into a dollar store in at least seven or eight years. My mom encouraged me to check one out that's nearby just to see if there was anything in there that I could use for my videos. And I walked in and I was so surprised at the wide array of things you can find. So many random gems are in the dollar store. So I am hoping today to show you some really simple and easy ways you can use items that are commonly found at the dollar store to use to organize all different areas of your house. If you guys like this concept of budget organizing or just dollar store inspired videos, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or giving me some ideas for future videos related to the dollar store in the comments. I was thinking about maybe dollar store DIYs or dollar store decor. And also if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I do so many different types of organization videos. So if you enjoy this video topic, definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. So let's go ahead and jump into my really easy ideas for how you can use dollar store items to organize around your house. So I'm going to do this room by room starting with the bathroom. I found this glass cup that I'm going to spruce up and use as a toothbrush holder. To do this, wrap the bottom with painter's tape and spray paint in just the bottom part in the color of your choice. Remove the tape right away so you have a clean line and you are left with this adorable toothbrush holder. Next, I'm going to take this hot dog container, spray paint it white, and this needed two coats, and use it for makeup storage. It works great for lip liners, eyeliners, or mascaras. So these carabiners can be used to keep all of your hair ties together because I don't know about you, mine are always getting lost and they're everywhere. Next I found these pencil pouches in all different shapes and sizes and you can use them to store all different types of items. I'm personally using them to keep all of my travel size items together so they are all ready to go next time I leave for a trip. They have tons of different pillowcases at the dollar store which you can use to store earrings or in my case I'm using them to store travel accessories so I have q-tips, bobby pins, and hair ties. Next is this wooden rectangle I found and I'm not even really sure what this is for but I decided to use it on my bathroom counter to stack my toiletries and skincare items together to maximize the space on my counter and I also think it looks really cute. Now for some under the sink storage ideas, mine was a total and complete mess. So the first thing I found for this were these plastic containers. They have a ton of different ones in all shapes and sizes, but they're usually in really bright colors. So to tone it down, you can just spray paint them in whatever color you like so they look a little bit nicer. And then I put them on this stackable shelf to maximize the space. I also found this cute little box which is from Daiso, the Japanese dollar store, and used it to store all of my nail polishes together. And lastly, I used these clear containers to put all of my hair coloring supplies together. So here is the before and after of my under the sink area. Now everything is separated by item type, so it is much more organized and easy for me to find what I need. The next room is the kitchen. My kitchen drawers were a complete mess, so I used these desk drawer organizers and also these plastic stackable mail containers to sort my kitchen items. I put the lesser used gadgets in the back, my straws and plastic cutlery in the front container, my water flavorings in the back, and my most used kitchen gadgets in the front, so now my drawer is nice and organized. I also found this mini whiteboard, and yes, I know it looks a little tacky, but it's quite functional to put by the door, so you can use it to easily communicate with whoever you live with about where you are and maybe even household items that you need to buy. Now for some desk and room organization ideas. These little Velcro strips are a great way to organize loose cords, and I have loose cords everywhere, so this was super helpful and easy. I also found these cute little guys to neatly wrap and store my headphones. They have tons of different size and style hooks at the dollar store, so I use this to manage my charging cords that always fall on the floor or behind my desk. So you just need to loop the cord through the hook and it will be easily accessible to grab whenever you need it. Next is this plastic frame stand, which I thought would be perfect to use as a phone stand, and you could put your phone upright or horizontal on these and they will work to fit any size of phone. Now this plastic paint tray, I decided to spray paint gold, and this particular gold spray paint, by the way, is the best I've ever used. It looks really expensive and it only needs one coat. So I decided to use this for jewelry storage and I think it looks really nice and sleek on my counter. I also found this cute little mini dish which I'm using to store my rings when I'm not wearing them. 
The last area of my house is the laundry room. This is how mine looked before. Not terrible, but there's no organization whatsoever. So I use these collapsible storage containers to sort out all the items and I label them using my label maker and these cute tags that are also from the dollar store. So I have them separated by pillowcases, washing detergents, washcloths, dryer sheets, and extra towels. So now everything is separated and the area looks a lot more put together and it only took a couple minutes to do. All right, so those are my ideas for today. If you guys enjoy them, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already subscribed. Don't forget to come find me on Instagram if you wanna see any of my upcoming wedding and honeymoon pictures. Everything is going to be posted there. I'm so excited about everything that's happening. So I would love for you guys to share that with me. So thank you guys again so much for watching and supporting my channel and I will see you guys next week with a new video. Bye. Hey honey. Hi, oh my gosh, what's that? So, I got you a wedding gift. You got me a wedding gift. I didn't think we had to get each other wedding gifts. Well, we don't have to. I guess I'm just more thoughtful than you then. Okay, let's see here. Okay, a mini scraper. It's a keeper. A fuzzy purse. Hand sanitizer. Oh yeah. Tongs? Of course. Gloves? Yeah. And a woman's facial razor? Hey. Babe, are these all things from the 99 cent store? Uh, yeah, of course they are. Not only am I thoughtful, but I'm also budget conscious. Wow. You're a lucky, lucky girl. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks so much. You're welcome.